Hi guys, welcome to Mon Jeans and Crime Scenes. I'm Trish and I have just a quick little, I don't know, it's not really a story, it's kind of just something that's developing in Utah right now. Um, it's just kind of kind of a crazy story actually uh, and it really makes my heart hurt. So anyways, we're going to pop in to that story in just a second. I just wanted to say thank you for being here. I really appreciate the support and love you guys and yeah, I can't I can't wait to keep growing with you. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you are feeling it, like this. I really appreciate that. That helps me a ton when you like my my stories. And then hit that bell a couple times and that will just tell you when I upload. I've got some fun things in store, so I can't wait. So anyways, we're going to pop into this story really fast. So, it's it happened February 6th. It was a Saturday at 2:30 is about the time that things kind of went down. Um, so Consuelo Nicole Solorio Romero, they call her Nicole, she frantically called her sister Julian Bersaman on Saturday. Julian lived in the basement apartment with Nicole. They lived together here in Utah. And um, Julian happened to be out shopping at a mall when her sister called her crying, saying that there were three men outside the home threatening Nicole with a gun to come out. Nicole was really scared, and Julianne told her sister not to worry, that help was on the way. So Julianne got off the phone with her sister. She immediately called their cousin to go pick up Nicole, and then she calls her older sister, who lives in Illinois, and her name is Jessica Romero McDonald. And from what I understand, I believe it's Jessica who calls 911 to go check out what's going on with her sister. So they believe that Nicole left the home to go stand outside maybe by the corner to wait for her cousin to come pick her up. But when the cousin gets there, Nicole's nowhere to be found. They cannot find her. Um, her cousin drives around the block several times. Julian gets back from the mall quickly and she searches the house, searches around the house. No sign of Nicole anywhere. So they're feeling pretty frantic about maybe what was happening. The police show up and they're telling her, you know, she has a right to disappear. She's an adult. But they're, they, you know, tell the police there's more to this. This is not like Nicole to do this. Uh, she thought that she was being followed before. She thought she'd seen this car mysteriously driving past a few times. She felt like she was being targeted. And now all of a sudden she's missing. She had called crying, saying that, you know, that they had guns and they were trying to get her out. And so police... We're like, okay, we'll investigate this. It sounds like they decided to, to take this seriously. And, yeah, so this is kind of, I feel like this is kind of when things get a little bit chilling. Because while police are investigating what happened, they come across a door. I think it's a door cam from across the street. And they see this green car park in front of a home. And they witness Nicole's kidnapping. They actually see her being pulled into the car by a man. They can see a man in the driver's seat. They cannot get good identification on the man, the man who grabbed her and forced her into the car. They don't know who he is. They don't have, like, really a whole lot to go by other than he is Hispanic, he's wearing a white hoodie, and he forcefully put her in the car. Um, there's a third man, according to Nicole, involved in this, but he, he's not really referenced at this point. So I'll kind of get to that in just a second. What I'm thinking maybe. Police start to kind of investigate. They Obviously they know something's terribly wrong at this point. So they are um, investigating and they find evidence in Nicole's home. I, I'm not sure if it's actually in her home or outside her home. But they find evidence that leads them to a second home or a second location that they believe Nicole was taken to. Once they get there, they realize that she was shot. Now, everything that I have seen, ha they specifically say shot and that she's hurt badly or maybe not even alive. They're just not sure. Uh, she was nowhere to be found in the second location, which is really strange. But they don't say, like, if there was maybe a witness who said that she'd been shot or a lot of blood. Maybe they found some casings. Like, I'm not really sure what makes them think that she was shot, but that is everything that I have read it sounds like that they're pretty sure. I think that they must have found large amounts of blood. That's like just speculation on my part. But I think that that's had to have been what, what is making them think she was shot. 
and that she's in trouble. Um, so they haven't said what the evidence was that led them to the home. They haven't said whether, you know, where they found the evidence. They're really being tight-lipped about that. But it does sound like they're not sure who took her. doesn't sound like they really have any solid leads. Even with this amazing surveillance camera, you've got this um, this green four-door sedan, this Toyota Camry, and it's not, you know, it's this w kind of a weird green. It's one you would, you know, you would notice it. It's a little bit different. So um, even with that, that, they're not finding anything. They said that there are actually two vehicles of interest. So the green four-door sedan, Camry, and then there's also a white pickup truck with an orange or red snowplow. So if you're looking at the, the video, if I can't post it directly on here, I will post a link to it in the comments below or the description below, but there is on the video a white pickup truck. I'm unsure if that's the one that they're referring to, but it is one that's of interest to them. So it makes me think that maybe the third suspect ended up in there. So her family's kind of scattered about right now. Her poor mom, she's in Mexico trying to get into the United States. This is an emergency, so hopefully she'll be able to do that. With Elizabeth Salgado, I've talked about her before. It took him a long time to let mom over. So that just breaks my heart that there's just no way to get her over here. Poor, like her baby is missing and she can't, she can't come search. She can't figure out what's going on. But yeah, it's just really, really sad to me. There's not, no recent developments. But Nicole is just a cute girl. She... Um, is just known as being spunky. She seems like she does have, you know, she's kind of an independent, strong-willed girl. Um, police have said that they do not believe this was a domestic situation. Um, they said that they don't necessarily think that she was caught up into anything illegal. I have seen people say that she is an addict, that she's kind of trying to recover from that. So I'm not sure how true that is. Um, but it does sound like her, one of her sisters did say that in a news article. So if that news article is correct, her sister did say that. Um, so I don't know if that could be related to it. But it does sound like that they do believe she was targeted um, at this point. They just don't know why. They've been checking hospitals all in Utah, outside of Utah. They think it's possible she could have been taken out of the country, which is a whole new scary thing. So um, we're just going to watch that closely because... Yeah, there's just something obviously really wrong there. So we'll keep watching that. Hopefully, hopefully she's okay. But it, it sounds like that there's definitely some kind of a life-threatening injury to her. Just wanted to share that because it's just crazy to me. You can, uh, I will, I'll post a bunch of articles too about it. Because I love when you guys like read what I read. You guys tell me what you're thinking about it. If you hear any more developments, I love it if you just post those links so I can keep up. I'm a hardworking mama, you guys. I work full time and then I come home and I go get my kids from school. So sometimes I miss these things um, until later on in the day. So if you guys like will, you know, post those on there, I might notice them a little bit faster. So um, you can also email me and I'll put my email in the description too because I, that does pop up on my phone. So yeah, I would love that. If you guys want to help me keep track of that kind of stuff, I would love it. But anyways, um... Yeah, so that is what's going on in Utah right now. Um, yeah, so I am going to get ready for bed and get ready. I've got a whole bunch of stuff going on. But I did want to tell you guys, thank you again for being here. I appreciate it. I've got big things. This channel is super important to me. I love it. I'm a busy mama though, so be patient with me as I'm trying to roll these out. I'm trying to get used to an editing program too. So hopefully the things start to get a little bit better as I practice. I hope. I just want to give you guys some stories that you feel like um, you're part of and that you can feel like that, you know, they resonate with you and you want to make a difference as much as me. So yeah, I'm hoping that I can meet that goal. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the description. One thing I was thinking though, so I love, I'm still really small and I really want that engagement. I love the engagement. I've, I've already met a lot of people that I talk to a lot and I love it. Um, I kind of want to keep that going. So I was thinking about doing a book club. 
Um, I want it to be a free thing. I don't want it to be like for paid members. Um, maybe eventually, like if I keep growing, we might have to go in that direction um, to keep it a little bit smaller. But I, for now, I want to keep it free. So if that's something that you might be interested in, I would love to do a book club with you guys. You guys can pick the books. Maybe we can do a vote and then we'll, we'll just have fun with that. So tell me what you think. Anyways, I like I said, I'm going to go and take care of my babies. But I am so glad that you were here with me for a second tonight. And I hope you guys have a good night.